They are the farthest man-made objects from Earth. Sent to explore the outer solar system, five spacecraft have visited planets, moons, and asteroids, and assisted by gravity, are racing towards the stars. Pioneer 10 and 11, Voyager 1 and 2, and New Horizons are all spacecraft launched by NASA with an impressive feat of first. They are collectively the first spacecraft to explore Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and their moons. Equipped with powerful cameras and observation equipment, they have taken some of the most iconic images of outer space and made many important scientific discoveries. Alone at the frontiers of the solar system, they are on course for interstellar space and on board they carry messages, photos, and symbols of humanity. The second half of the 20th century presented a rare opportunity to explore the outer solar system. Astronomers realized that Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would be aligned in such a way that spacecraft would be able to visit multiple planets instead of only one each. This alignment only occurs every 175 years, and NASA took advantage by launching four spacecraft, Pioneer 10 and 11, and Voyager 1 and 2. Launched in 1972, Pioneer 10 was the first spacecraft to cross the asteroid belt and explore the solar system's largest planet, Jupiter. Pioneer 10 encountered Jupiter's incredibly powerful radiation belts and photographed three of the four Galilean moons, Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa. One of Pioneer 10's most important accomplishments was a proof of concept for using Jupiter as a gravitational assist. Because it flew so close to Jupiter, Pioneer 10 gained considerable speed and was able to make a significant course change. Although Pioneer 10 only visited one planet, this navigation technique was used by later spacecraft to visit multiple planets. Pioneer 11 launched in 1973 and made visits to Jupiter and Saturn. It captured detailed photographs of Jupiter's Great Red Spot, a massive storm believed to have existed for over 350 years. Afterwards, Pioneer 11 used Jupiter as a slingshot to increase speed and direct it on an intercept course for Saturn. Its approach of Saturn took a path through Saturn's ring system that made it a planetary guinea pig. Pioneer 11 successfully cleared the hazards of the ring system, providing a route for Voyager 1 and 2 to follow later on. A new moon was discovered by Pioneer 11, and it found a new part of Saturn's ring system called F-Ring. Before leaving Saturn, Pioneer 11 photographed Saturn's largest moon, Titan, and its dense atmosphere. Voyager 1 took off in 1977 for a rendezvous with Jupiter, and recorded significant activity on the Galilean moon Io. Equipped with better cameras than the Pioneer spacecraft, Voyager 1 captured incredible images during its explorations. Similar to Pioneer 11, Voyager 1 used Jupiter's gravity to propel it towards Saturn. There, Voyager 1 documented Saturn's ring system and several of Saturn's moons. NASA had the option to send Voyager 1 to either Titan or continue on to Uranus and Neptune. Based on earlier observations of a substantial atmosphere on Titan, NASA selected it for further exploration. Because of Voyager 1's observations and future missions, it is believed that Titan has considerable amounts of liquid hydrocarbons on its surface, making it the only celestial body besides Earth known to have stable surface liquids. During its tour of the outer solar system, Voyager 2 recorded numerous accomplishments. It visited Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and remains the only spacecraft to visit the ice giants. Because Voyager 1 explored Titan, Voyager 2 moved on to Uranus and Neptune after Saturn, using gravitational assists from each planet along the way. Between Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, Voyager 2 discovered an incredible 20 new moons and new ring systems around Neptune. Because Pluto is no longer considered a planet, Voyager 2 completed tours of all the planets in the solar system. Not forgotten though, NASA did send a spacecraft to explore Pluto. New Horizons launched in 2006 and spent nearly a decade traveling to the dwarf planet. It used Jupiter for a gravity assist before going into hibernation mode. On approach, New Horizons discovered two new moons of Pluto, bringing the known total to five. The spacecraft took detailed images of Pluto's colorful ice-covered surface. New Horizons collected about 6 gigabytes of data, but it took 15 months for all the data to be sent to Earth because of extremely slow transmission speeds. Afterwards, New Horizons flew by a trans-Neptunian object called Arakoth, which like Pluto is located in the Kuiper Belt. 
Because of the gravity assist during their missions, all five of these spacecraft now have the necessary velocity to escape the sun's gravitational force and enter interstellar space. With such great distances, a common unit of measurement is astronomical units. 1 AU is the average distance between the sun and earth, about 93 million miles. Interstellar space begins at the end of the heliosphere, which is the region dominated by plasma emitted from the sun called solar wind. The border of the heliosphere is called heliopause and is estimated to be at 120 AU from the sun. Before heliopause is a boundary called termination shock between 75 and 95 AU, where the solar wind's intensity begins to decrease significantly. Voyager 1 and 2 are still functioning and have traversed into interstellar space after crossing heliopause in 2012 and 2018 respectively. Voyager 1 is 161 AU from the Sun, and Voyager 2 is at 134 AU. New Horizons will join them in the future, assuming it remains operational, but it is currently about 56 AU from the Sun. If the estimates of their locations are correct, Pioneer 10 is at 135 AU, and Pioneer 11 is approaching heliopause at 112 AU from the Sun. Because of Pioneer 10's trajectory and the heliosphere's oval shape, it is crossed termination shock but is likely still within the heliosphere. Unless and until humanity makes significant advancements in propulsion technology, Voyager 1 will remain the most distant man-made object from Earth. On board each spacecraft are artifacts of humanity. The Pioneers each carry a Pioneer plaque designed to help anyone who finds the spacecraft learn more about humanity. The top left shows a depiction of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. The middle has a map of where the sun is relative to 14 pulsars. A pulsar is a type of star that emits electromagnetic radiation from its magnetic poles. The lines and marks represent the period of each pulsar in binary, and one line indicates the sun's distance from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. If an extraterrestrial civilization found the Pioneer plaque, it would only need to observe a few of the pulsars to be able to triangulate the sun's location and determine when the spacecraft was launched. Along the bottom is a map of the solar system with the trajectory of the Pioneer spacecraft, and on the right side is a male and female with the Pioneer spacecraft in the background to scale with the approximate size of humans. The Voyagers each carry a more sophisticated golden record, which in addition to the elements of the Pioneer plaque, include images, sounds, and greetings from Earth. There are 116 images, greetings in 55 languages, sounds from things like waves crashing, a train, airplanes, and several animals, and about 90 minutes of music. New Horizons has a CD with over 400,000 names, an American flag, and ashes of Clyde Tombaugh, who discovered Pluto in 1930. In the vacuum of outer space, the structures and time capsules of each spacecraft will likely survive for millions of years, but only advanced civilizations, if they exist, would have any chance of finding them. Now operating for nearly 50 years, the Voyager spacecraft are heading toward distant stars. Voyager 1 will pass near Galice 445 in about 40,000 years, and Voyager 2 will approach Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, in about 296,000 years. NASA is working to manage the power supply to keep the spacecraft functioning as long as possible. The Voyagers are in different parts of space and have the same four instruments still working, giving scientists two sets of data to compare. NASA communicates with the two spacecraft using the Deep Space Network, a system of three ground stations in California, Spain, and Southwest Australia. Any spacecraft more than 18,000 miles from Earth including the Voyagers and New Horizons, is always within line of sight of one of the ground stations. NASA hopes to keep the Voyagers operational until 2030, with 2040 in the realm of possibility. Traveling at 10 miles per second, it will likely be quite some time until another spacecraft makes it as far as the Voyagers. Until then, they are a window into the frontiers of the solar system and the vast expanse of interstellar space.